Hey y'all, so today I wanted to talk about um, the government funding of people transgendering. Um, there is no way, shape or form, in my opinion, that a trans woman is a woman in any way. They cannot give life, um, they cannot nurse, they do not have periods, they are not women. Um, even if they transition, they are not women. But our government is funding um, this this epidemic, and this is a mental problem, and they are contributing to the mental problem. You ask ourselves, why are so many people transgendered now? And it's because if you join the military, you get your sex reassignment surgery, you um, you get your breast implants. But who cares about you know the real issues of of teeth that we need and our vision that we need those things are not covered but a transgender person can have a sex reassignment surgery and the government will fund it I also think that in jail or in prison this is where they are getting their sex reassignment surgery for free the orange is the new black I think that's why they um, they love their orange so much but um they they want to bitch about people going on food stamps when they spend thousands, if not fifty, to have a sex reassignment surgery. This world is backwards, inverted, perverted, corrupted, and it needs to go down the tube and down the drain and burn in hell. I'm done. Done with it. You Google, go go to Google and type in a real woman. You will not find one real woman. And this is what they do. They make you think that their bodies are supposed to be shaped like this. And they're not. Women's bodies are not inverted. That is created. That is man-made. But they put that in there with a female's figure. So no wonder people are confused of what a real woman is supposed to look like. You have these secret trainees everywhere. Everywhere. They're everywhere. I can't go anywhere without seeing them now, you know? And I used to not be able to see them because I thought that, you know, some women just were more manly than other women. But, no, women aren't more manly. And, you know, men are losing their hair because they're taking, you know, testosterone. And they're really women. They were born women. Um, that's why you have baldness. God didn't do that. And then you have all these supposed trainees having miscarriages you hear about you know women women don't have miscarriages God created us good he made us in his image you know this is all man made problems man made problems and it needs to stop you know you have all the sports all the football players, they're all really women, playing men, taking steroids and testosterone. You have all these models, they're really men, you know, taking estrogen. Why? Why is this so widespread? Because our government is funding it. They are funding this epidemic. This is Satan. This is Satan. This is the devil, you know. This is the beast system this is we are in Bible, Babylon you know and the only you know they have is tied to this religion and this is the religion that is their playbook you know they're trying to play it out like the Bible that they wrote man wrote the Bible at least this is my opinion now either that or it was plagiarized you know I think they're good at doing the plagiarism very well but um but everybody's like, oh, Jesus, when Jesus comes back, you know, you just wait, you just wait. And so we're just sitting ducks, you know, we're waiting for, for Jesus to come back. He ain't coming back. 
God is in us. He created us in His image. And you need to wake up and realize that this stuff is wrong and this is not what God intended for for um, humanity. This is the opposite of going... This is going against what our Creator made. And it's really sick. It's really sick. And, you know, I wish to God that that people would step up to this and fight this and know in their heart that this is wrong. All right. Y'all have a good one.